What up, YouTube? It's Knowledge of Self Determination. Yeah, so there's been a few videos that's been done on this subject, but I just wanted to cover this real quick. <clears throat> um, I usually don't cover sports and stuff like that, you know. Not that I don't like sports. I just think there's a lot of other people out here who dedicate more time to it than I would. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do like sports, especially combat sports, boxing, MMA, stuff like that. So anyway, <clears throat> I want to talk about Al Heyman. I don't know if you guys have heard the latest about the whole uh, Oscar De La Hoya and his PR uh, guys um, email calling Al Heyman a nigger and calling him the black Hitler. But that was an email. Um, I'm not 100% sure on who the email was sent to. I believe it was Oscar De La Hoya, but I could be wrong. I'll put links of the videos that I've watched that have talked about this and covered it more intently uh, in the description box. But yeah, I wanted to just talk to you guys about that and um, let you know <clears throat> about this form of racism because I want to put this stuff in the mainstream. I want to put this stuff on blast because it needs to be talked about. You know, a closed mouth doesn't get fed, so we got to speak up when it comes to these things. It's time to end the racial disparity, the caste system, the color caste system, you know, the white supremacy, all this stuff. It's time to end it. There's always going to be prejudices and bigotry and stuff like that. Those things are a lot harder to change. And apparently so is racism. But in any event, I just want to let you guys know about that. This brother Al Heyman, you know, he's a boxing manager for those who don't know. He works, you know, um, in conjunction with Floyd Mayweather a lot of times. Um, in his um, money team um, promotional company, Floyd Mayweather's promotional company. Um, he's a, Floyd Mayweather's a promoter. Al Heyman's a manager, you know. And a lot of the fighters that Floyd has under his banner are managed by Al Heyman, you know. And Al Heyman is a guy who is not, he's not a public figure. You know, there are pictures of him that exist, but the man's like, where's Waldo? Seriously, you know, you'd be hard pressed to really find this guy because he doesn't do interviews with anyone. I've never heard his voice. I don't even know if the man can actually talk, you know, but he is, has a really good business mind and he's bought boxing back to free TV, quote unquote, free TV. Um, back to network TV. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, anyway, I just wanted to, again, like I said, let you guys know about that. You know, tell me what you think about the situation. If you guys um, have heard of it, uh, why would they hate on Al Heyman like that and purposefully try to not work with Al Heyman? And Golden Boy really needs to be trying to work with everybody they can. I mean, 94% of their revenue, um, I think up to this point, has been generated by one fighter, you know, because... You know, apparently, I'm just thinking they suck as prom as a promotional company. You know, so maybe he should, you know, they should really think about that before they, you know, start calling Al Heyman and niggers and the black Hitler. You know, um, uh, uh, Oscar De La Hoya has enough controversy out on himself already as it is. He really, this guy really shouldn't throw stones at anybody. But, yeah, Al Heyman being called a nigger in the email by the Oscar De La Hoya's uh, PR person. This is the guy is is the PR head, the head of uh, PR for uh, uh, Golden Boy uh, Promotions, apparently. And this is what he thinks is going to bring the company good, good publicity. So yeah. In any event, um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, like, learn, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.